Hello! Now us gardeners are a pretty thrifty bunch. We grow our own food for starters. And it's in the garden where repurposing old items into new really comes into its own. Whether transforming off cuts of wood into a new raised bed, bricks into paving or old CDs into bird scarers, there's a lot you can do to reuse or upcycle. In this video we're going to share just a few of our favourite ideas. Plant pots are a great place to start. From the truly enormous to something a little more modest, there's a whole universe of household and garden items that can make excellent containers, many of them quirky to say the least. Potential containers will need sufficient drainage holes in the bottom so excess water can drain out. Drill some more if necessary. Unless of course you'd like to make a miniature water garden like this. You'll also need to consider the depth of the container. This old cattle trough makes an excellent raised bed for just about any vegetables. While this guttering is best saved for shallow rooters like salads or strawberries. Use old bricks or edging to create the outline to a beautiful herb wheel such as this one. Making raised beds is a great opportunity to reuse old wood. Join them together at the corners with screws, brackets or hinges. They look great and offer many benefits to plants such as better drainage and an earlier start to the growing season. Keep crops safe at the start of the year with your own homemade cold frame. This simple frame uses a polycarbonate sheet screwed to a wooden frame with a hinge at the rear for access and ventilation. Vining crops such as beans look stunning climbing up a thrifty arch like this one made using plastic water pipe. And while we all know hoop houses can be made from water pipe, how about making a framework for your crop protection from prunings like this one made of willow? Or try flexing offcuts into highly attractive supports for both ornamentals and crops such as peas. Birds like pigeons can be a pesky nuisance in the vegetable garden. Tie old CDs onto string, suspended above crops to unnerve them as they move in the wind. Silver tape attached to canes will have a similar effect. Or string out coloured tape over vulnerable crops such as brassicas. And of course the classic scarecrow offers the perfect opportunity to get creative with your recycling. Move it to a new position occasionally so the birds don't get used to it. We also want to attract wildlife into the garden. Pots, bricks, straws, twigs, cones and various offcuts can all be used to create cosy homes for beneficial bugs such as ground beetles and solitary or mason bees. Stack them, stuff them or build them up into handsome structures worthy of even the smartest garden. Ponds of any size will draw in slug hungry frogs or toads. If you don't fancy a full sized pond, try a container pond. This one uses two washing up bowls filled with stones at the base, then larger rocks so that animals can easily get into and out of the water. Aquatic plants give the finishing touch to this watery habitat. Old furniture can often be turned to excellent use in the garden. This old chest of drawers has become a beautiful apple store with the simple addition of holes for airflow. Circles about an inch or two centimetres in diameter were drawn at regular intervals over the unit then cut out to using a hole saw drill bit. Shaded, well aired and dry, apples should keep for far longer like this. Pallets offer a ready source of wood but check the pallet stamp before using. This should show the IPPC or EPAL logo plus the letters HT which indicates the wood has been heat treated and that there's no risk of contamination from toxic pesticides. Pallets are perfect for transforming into structures such as compost bins. You can make a single bin like this or one with two bays, a bay for maturing compost and one for adding to. Or upend a pallet, add a splash of colour and turn it into a beautiful vertical planter. If you're lucky enough to live by the sea, look out for driftwood which can be used to make a truly individual rustic fence. Reclaimed bricks and paving are perfect for adding a lived in feel to your garden. Lay bricks to make hard wearing paths or patios using a stretcher bond or basket weave pattern to stunning effect. Paving slabs can be positioned between beds for quick and easy access. Or turn slabs or slates on their side to create a solid edging to raised beds. Stack up bricks, stones or rocks and top with offcuts of wood to make an attractive place to rest your feet. 
perhaps to admire a sculptural masterpiece made from salvaged materials. Who said recycling in the garden couldn't be a thing of beauty? Reusing materials in the garden is a really great way to do more with less. I'm sure you've got lots of good ideas as well and we'd really love to hear them so please share them in the comments section below. While you're there don't forget to subscribe so we can share more helpful gardening videos with you when they're ready. I'll catch you next time.